of the featherweight class and stands at five feet, seven inches tall. He's fighting out of Turlock, California and looking to pick up his second win here tonight. His current amateur MMA record stands at one win and one loss. Gonzalez is a very snappy stand-up fighter. He's got a lot of confidence and a lot of strength. More than likely, he is going to be the initiator of this fight, and he's going to move onto his opponent as much as he can and put as much pressure as he can as possible. Things get taken down to the ground, however, I don't know how long he will be able to fare or how well he will be able to. This is going to be a very interesting fight. His opponent, Edward Schmel, uh, much more of a jiu-jitsu guy, a much better ground fighter. Um, so if Gonzalez can't handle things on the stand-up, then Schmel might take things down to the ground and may end up going to his favor. However, Gonzalez is pretty confident in the stand-up and it is has proven to be effective. So we'll see if it works against the likes of Schmel. Esteban Gonzalez heads inside the cage. Here is Edward E.J. Schmel. Now approaching the cage, Edward Schmel. Schmel is fighting out of the featherweight class. He's looking to pick up his third win here tonight against the likes of Esteban Gonzalez. Shamel stands at six feet tall, having a clear height advantage over his opponent. We'll see if that proves to be effective for him. His current amateur MMA record stands at two wins and three losses. So we're going to change things up, trying to get that, secure that win here tonight. He's fighting out of Nevada. Like I was saying earlier, Schmel is much more of a ground fighter. He has a great jiu-jitsu skill, great wrestling skill. If I'm going to make any kind of prediction for this bout, I'm thinking Schmel is going to try and go into that early takedown whenever he can. You know, as soon as he sees the opening, he's going to go for it. He's going to try to control things on the ground as long as he can, because that's what he's good at. You know, Gonzalez, much more of a stand-up fighter. He's probably going to figure that out sooner or later and realize that getting him to the ground is only going to be that much more important. As Edward Schmel heads inside the cage. King of the Cage on Mav TV will return after this. This is Kate. Hey. She takes two prescriptions. Kate's son, Jack, takes one, too. Kate works hard and thought she had good insurance, but she still pays too much. That's no good. So Kate downloaded the GoodRx app. Now she can compare prescription prices to find the best discounts. She even beats her insurance price. Good for you, Kate. Good for you. GoodRx, stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Download the free app today. Introducing the Hometown Collection by Fanatics. Prep your team in city with this collection of locally inspired graphics designed for the fan. Available at Fanatics.com. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com. Officially licensed everything. Cover it up. That's what I did when I started losing my hair. But then I realized I could actually do something. Now I use Keeps, the easiest way to keep my hair. And it only costs a dollar a day, which means no more covering up. Get started at Keeps.com. This is the kind of card that has America talking. With it, people with Medicare are getting all-in-one coverage for their doctor visits, hospital care, prescription drugs, and more. This kind of insurance, called Medicare Part C, may also cover dental care, eyeglasses, hearing aids, fitness programs, vitamins, even healthy meals and rides to the doctor. With this kind of coverage, you do not need a Medicare supplement insurance plan. You will access your benefits through your Medicare Part C plan for one low and oftentimes zero dollar monthly plan premium. You deserve to get the most from your Medicare benefits. 
Call now for free information that may help you get more coverage for less money. There is no obligation to enroll. Whether for yourself or someone you love, call the number on the screen now. Call now. All North Racing on MAV-TV. Catch all the action from the stars of the sprint cars, thunder stocks, and mini stocks from Ashwikin Speedway. All North Racing showcases the best in Canada. Double greens in the air from Kyle McKenzie. We're a feature racing at Ashwikin Speedway. All North Racing, Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern on MAV-TV, Motorsports Network. Tonight's presentation of King of the Cage is brought to you by Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world, and by General Tire, anywhere is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Silver Legacy Resort Casino, Reno, Nevada, King of the Cage and General Tire present this three-round bout in the Bantamweight Division. After the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, James Fanshear. Introducing first, fighting out of our Lucas Oil Blue Corner, standing or sitting, five feet seven inches tall. Official weight in even 144 pounds. He represents Alpha Fitness sitting down. Ladies and gentlemen, from Turlock, California, presenting Esteban Gonzalez. His opponent across the stage stands at six feet tall. Official weight, 143.6 pounds. He represents combat, sport, and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, from Sun Valley, California, presenting, and Sun Valley, Nevada as well, Edward E.J. Schmel. Once again, James Fanshear is your official for this bout now with the final instructions, three rounds, Phantom Weights. All right, guys, we've gone over the procedures and the basic fouls in the back. Obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. If you'd like to touch close, touch close now. Back it up and we'll get the fight going. Here we are. Welcome to round number one. Esteban Gonzalez versus Edward Schmel. Gonzalez going in quick, but Schmel catches the leg. Gets a nice little smooth takedown here. Yeah, I don't even know what that was. That's some kind of a helicopter looking takedown, but Schmel on top. Esteban immediately on his back. Gonzalez using a lot of that useful energy here. Schmel just prying forward, trying to force those legs out of the way. Gonzalez doing a good job staying busy, throwing damage, some nice body shots. Well, trying to press him up against the cage. Need to walk him in there and smash him into that corner. Use that to his advantage. And that's exactly where Chanel wants to be. He's got the cage to work off of. Just gonna keep prying through Gonzalez until he makes his way all the way through to break that guard. Gonzalez doing a good job though, not really letting Schmel advance too far. Gonzalez needs to do what he can to work his way up this cage. Create a little space, at least get some room. Now there's a pass by Schmel. Hit it 17 left, see if he can do anything with that. Schmel just scooping him up. The referee calling to get those toes out of the cage. Schmel. 
Schmel continuing to try and pass this guard here. He's in side mount. Gonzalez pushing off the cage. That was a good attempt. Schmel doing a good job of just maintaining that side position, and there's a good knee. And Gonzalez basically doing everything he needs to here, but Schmel just very strong, very tight, just staying right on him, not giving an inch. Gonzalez is doing a good job of trying to get back through, sliding that, ne that knee through. Schmel switching it up to north-south. It looks like he might have a choke of his own in there with 20 seconds left. Let's it go. Delivers a good knee. Full plumb. Pushes off. Gets three strikes and moves back. Gonzalez comes blasting off of the cage with a kick. Ten seconds left. Gonzalez being very wary. He knows he does not want to get taken right back down to the ground. Going to be taking that into the second round. Let's take a look at the replay here. Right out the bat, I mean, things were already on the ground. Gonzalez went in for that kick of sorts, and Schmel was able to just catch it, turn right around. Very quick reflexes on Schmel's part. And from there, he was able to just kind of dominoes, trying to break through Gonzalez's defense, but Gonzalez putting up a pretty de good defense, not making it easy for him at all. Oh yeah, top position, Schmel is really solid, just grinding away, staying in side control, switch that up the end of this north-south position. See how it goes here in round number two. Schmel looking for some kicks. Looking to stay in the stand-up for a little bit here now. That's all with a straight right. No, with another takedown, just... Gonzalez into the corner. Schmel, once again, a familiar position from the round one. Just trying to push through this defense here. Gonzalez not letting it happen. Schmel is just dominating this position, just stuffing Gonzalez into this corner. It's a hard place to get out of. There's your option. Move up the fence. Blast off of the fence. Bridge as much as you can. At least create some space. Yeah, it's the best thing he could do right now. He's got the perfect opportunity, but I don't know if Gonzalez is going to go for that. And now Schmel pushing his feet away from the cage, losing that advantage. Schmel just grinding away, heavy on him. That forearm is making it uncomfortable, just grinding with those left hooks. Smashing, smashing, smashing. Just under 45 seconds left here. Gonzalez still fighting Schmel off. Schmel just grinding it out. His knee on the belly, turning the wrong way as Gonzalez is even in a worse position now. One arm trapped. Schmel just grinding away. He might even finish this. This is a horrible position right here for Gonzalez. If he can go knee on the belly, he can finish this thing. Gonzalez doing a good job trying to twist out of this. Schmel now laying down some strikes, trying to soften him up. Just that arm strapped, and there's nothing Gonzalez can do. And that's it for round number two.
Gonzalez just staying out of harm's way there. Taking a couple strikes right at the end. Let's take a look at the replay. Second half of that round played out a lot like the first round. Schmel, once he got things down to the ground, just continued to work like he did before. But like we were saying, Gonzalez, you know, he's got a lot of energy, got a lot of strength. He's not just going to let Schmel pass that guard so easily. Well, they came out throwing bombs. Gonzalez did a good job, got a little bit overzealous, and ended up in the same position he's been in in this entire fight. Just getting picked away by Schmel, just smashing. Schmel doing a good job of just stuffing him in there. He traps his hand right here for the last 30 seconds and just does good work. Yeah, good job on, Schmel, on Schmel's part. We'll see how it develops. We'll see if Gonzalez can pick things up coming up here in the final round after the break. King of the Cage on MAV TV will return after this. More than a century ago, General Tire was born right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. So you think this ship is nothing to worry about? Well, at Safe Flight, we know sooner or later, every chip will crack. These friends were on a trip when their windshield got chipped. So they scheduled at safelight.com. They didn't have to change their plans or worry about a thing. I'll see you in a little bit. And I fixed it right away with a strong repair they can trust. Plus, with most insurance, a safe light repair is no cost to you. Really? Being there whenever you need us, that's another safe light advantage. Safe light repair, safe light replace. Okay, you ready? Yes. Now. A Peloton? Give it up for our first time ride. All right, first ride. I'm a little nervous, but excited. Let's do this. Five days in a row. You surprised? I am. 6 a.m. Yay. Rising with the sun. That was totally worth it. Let's go, Grace in Boston. 50 rides. She just said my name. A year ago, I didn't realize how much this would change me. Thank you. This holiday, give the gift of Peloton. There's no set path, no way you have to be. So why not do what you've been dreaming of? You've got the power, we've got the tools. Make a website with GoDaddy and put what you want out there. Each year, Americans waste $21 billion by overpaying on car insurance. That's why I went to thezebra.com. Because while every company claims to save you money on car insurance, the Zebra shows you who actually can. Compare car insurance for free at thezebra.com today. Tonight's presentation of King of the Cage is brought to you by Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world, and by General Tire, anywhere is possible. Welcome back. Here we are, round number three, the final round, Schmel versus Gonzalez. Both fighters looking to bang here. That's a good stiff jab. Looping overhand right. Barely misses. Nice circle by Schmel. Gonzalez continuing to drive forward looking for that kick. Schmel throws one of his own. Gonzalez moving in, throwing some strikes. That was a good combination. Most of them miss from distance, but he needs to let those things go. Schmel looking to counter. Yeah, 
straight right from Schmel. Gonzalez continuing to throw some strikes, and now Schmel forcing him to the ground and catching that leg. One minute left is exactly where Schmel wants to be. This ends up going to decision. Schmel could definitely gain some points right here, just once again controlling from on top and dictating the pace of this fight. Gonzalez has really got a fight to get out of this. Yeah, he's going to have to switch hips. Try and get out of there, create a couple risky moves with 50 seconds left. Not a lot of time. <laughs> 30 seconds. Smell just grinding away. Gonzalez trying to just defend, not take as much damage here. He's going to have to strike back, though, if he wants to show some more points at the end of this round. And once it goes up to the judges, it's up to them. Schmel just being dominant, just smashing away. Just not giving Gonzalez a chance to breathe, just relentless. And Gonzalez looking like he's almost smiling. He's still looking confident under there. But he's going to have to do a little bit more because that's not going to be enough in the judges' eyes. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't been hurt. He just got dominated, though, on the ground. There's just nothing he could do. And that's it. Nothing but sportsmanship all the way through to the end. And that was a great bout, but I think got to give it to Schmel, man. He just was able to take things down where he needed to and kept him down on the ground as long as he wanted. Uh, Gonzalez really didn't show any sign of getting out of that or if he was going to get back up to his feet. Same thing as we saw those last couple of rounds here. Just not real aggressive with that uh, stand-up. And then at this point, it was over. There was no chance he was getting up from that. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of bantamweight action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges at cage side score this contest exactly the same way. 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Edward E.J. Schmell. Here is Naaman Taylor. Now making his way to the cage side, Damon Taylor. Taylor is fighting out of the featherweight class. He stands at five feet, seven inches tall. He's looking to pick up his third win here tonight. His amateur MMA record standing at two wins and two losses. Taylor has a very strong ground game background. Originally stemming from wrestling and now also evolving into having a blue belt in jiu-jitsu So he's going to be bringing some very effective ground into the table. It's gonna be very dangerous for his opponent 